I've got a weapon here for every situation. Hunting, protection, cold-blooded murder, hot-blooded murder. Let's see what you have. A gun for every occasion. Brotherhood of Steel, better stay out of good neighbor. All I'm saying. Oh, new face walks into my store. And you're not even screaming yet. Very polite. You let me know if anything catches your fancy. Did you say something about people screaming at you? That's right. Some newcomers have never seen a ghoul before. Can't handle them. Friendly face, I say. So you need some supplies? What's it like, you know, being a ghoul? Well, it's a lot worse when people always ask you about it all the time. But I guess I can't blame them. On the upside, I look pretty good. For being over 220 years old. Now, were you buying anything? You're 220 years old? Okay, okay. It's more like 270 years. But don't go blabbing that to everyone. Being a ghoul means you live a long time. You stop counting birthdays. Do you know what it's like being that old? Actually, I do. <laughs> well, now you're just making fun of me. If you were as old as I was, you would have been around since before the war. So let's hear it. Come on. Tell me what the world was like before the war, if you're so ancient. I had a beautiful house, white picket fence, and a lawn with the greenest grass you'd ever seen. It was... peaceful. It was, wasn't it? Sorry. Last thing you want to see is an old lady tearing up. Well, you're either the most well-preserved ghoul I've ever seen, or you're the second best bullshitter and good neighbor. <laughs> it's the truth. All of it. You know, if you haven't already, you should check out the Hotel Rexford. There's another pre-war ghoul hanging around there. Well, we should get back to business. What are you picking up? What kind of things do you sell? Oh, a bit of everything. Canned beans to cans. I try to take every weird bit of junk the caravans are willing to trade. So chances are you'll find something to your liking here. Ready to take a look? Let's see what you got. Cash or trade? Let's get started. Oh, you're back. Can't get enough looks of this lovely figure of mine. <laughs> no? <laughs> Guess you'll just have to shop then. Got any work? I do, actually. Super mutants have taken over the old Boston Public Library. I got a lot of fond memories of that place from when I was a girl and human. You get those lumbering brutes out of there, I'll pay you 200 caps. Anything more you can tell me about the library? A lot of those pre-war buildings have automated security. Robots, turrets, that kind of thing. A lot of computers, too. Hope you take the job. 
You might not believe this, but I was a shy child. Books were like my best friends growing up. You got a deal, Daisy. Thanks. Hey, while you're there, could you return this book for me? It's from the library. Don't even ask how long it's been overdue. Good work. Under the supervision of the best boss you'll ever have. If you don't mind a little manual labor, and don't ask too many questions, you're in. I'll give you 50 caps to start. Interested? I'm in. That's what I like to hear. Let's go inside. I'll give you the lowdown. Ready to get to work? Are you gonna tell me what we're actually doing? Look, we're pulling a job here. Big payoff. Taking some things that aren't technically ours yet. information than that. Mm, curious type, eh? All right, I'll spell it out. Bobby. Well, what are you waiting for? Get digging. Well, what are you waiting for? Get digging.
think we can finally get through. Want to see what's on the other side? Oh, yeah. You think Bobby will pay us this week? I don't know, man. It's starting to feel like we're doing charity. Did you just hear something? It's crawling with my alerts. Fail! Bobby can take this job and shove it. Good luck down there, new guy. Anything you need. Grab anything useful. You can count on me. Got it. What is going on in my tunnel? That room was filled with mire lurks. At least you put up a better fight than those good-for-nothings. Well, you stuck around at least. So I guess you're promoted. You get to be my new gun. I think we just need one more guy. An old friend. He'll want a fair cut, but... We saw what being cheap got me. Who is this guy? He's just the guy we need to speed things along. Likes gadgets, money, and not much else. First, I think it's best if you actually see what we're after. I have some things to check on in Diamond City. Head over to the noodle shop there, and I'll meet you when I finish up my business. I'll catch up to you. Order yourself a bowl of noodles if I get held up.
Now a swatter, that's a real weapon. Talk to Mo Cronin. He'll fix you up. What? Protection for sale! Hand-tooled pieces! There you are. <laughs> Was wondering if you were gonna show up. Yes, it's me. I have to hide my face in these parts. People like me aren't allowed around here. Now let's get down to business. That big wall of glass looming over Diamond City is the mayor's office. Most people don't know it, but there's a strong room buried beneath. Mayor's just sitting on top of it. And that's our target. The guy has it coming, if you ask me. With how he treats my kind, maybe he deserves worse. What's inside? Caps, meds, food. Enough to keep this city running. It's things we want. Things everyone wants. You get in on this, there's plenty for you. You got it? So, what do you say we make this party a little bigger? I managed to track down my tech guy. His name's Mel, and he is right here in Diamond City. The guy can make a gadget to solve any problem. Thing is, he's a bit locked up right now. You have to get him out of there. I can't just stroll into Diamond City security with this face, covered or not. Tell me about this security office. It's built into some old locker rooms, <laughs> and it smells the pot. This isn't a maximum security prison, and it isn't heavily guarded. No problem for someone like you, right? Pick a lock, find a key, bribe the guard. The usual stuff. Just get him out of there. Heard what you said about Diamond City. Glad to see the great green jewel still shines. Hey, swatter, 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 swing, swatter. I haven't forgotten what you've done for me. Water. You won't find this out on the Commonwealth. You by yourself out here? That's right. Been on my own since I was eight. I'm a fully independent man. Got my own place. Go to night classes. The whole shebang. Now, how about I get you a bottle of water, huh? Anything I can do to help out? Ah, the industrious type. Wanna help me clean out the water supply? You won't believe the junk people throw in there. Overloads the filters. What kind of stuff is down there? You're looking for big things. Anything around the size of a book, usually. I'm on it. Just don't drown. I'll never clean your carcass out of there. Yes? Go check that out. Can't do it right now. 
Check it out. Yep. Did you need anything? Hey. Hmm? Come on. Moving out. Of course. Wait there. I got it. Take a look. I'm ready. Let's do it. Anything else? Use some fixing up. Water! Get your fresh water here! People, I ain't standing here for my health. Look how clean the water is now. Good job. Here's your pay. Now, how about you pick up some bottles for the road? Shang? Why was there a skull in the water? Eh, so maybe you weren't the first person I asked. Maybe the last guy found an unstable hand grenade. Hey, once the filters do their job, it's all water under the bridge. Am I right? Anyway, uh, need some water? Sure. Let's take a look. Hey, everyone's got a drink. Am I right? Heads up. Lead on. Got it. Heads up. I'm ready. On me. Sure. I can do that. Self-prescribed chems, as recommended by me, myself, and I. Who needs a haircut? 
Everyone needs a haircut. Step up. New issue of public occurrences. You watch your step. Got my eye on you.